In this video, we are going to discuss about the SP hybridization. Let us see what is SP hybridization and its example. If you see here, SP hybridization is nothing but the process in which one S orbital combines with one P orbital results in the formation of two SP hybrid orbital. Here in SP hybridization, one S orbital combines with one P orbital in order to form two sp hybrid orbitals if you see the example of sp hybridization becl2 is one of the example of a sp hybridization remember hybridization is a process of an atom in which the atomic orbital of an atom combines together and redistribute to form hybrid orbitals within the same atom here if you see the example becl2 in this the central atom is beryllium in BeCl2 molecule, the central atom is beryllium and if we see the electronic configuration of beryllium, it is 1s2 2s2. Remember, we require the unpaired electron in order to form the bond. Here, in order to attain the unpaired electrons, what happens is the beryllium undergo excitation and the electronic configuration of beryllium get converted from 1s2 2s2 to 1s2 2s1 2p1. Here, when the electron is shifted from s orbital to p orbital we are going to have two unpaired electrons whenever an energy is supplied to an atom the electrons get excited to the higher energy level provided the orbit should have empty orbital when energy is supplied to an atom the electrons uh, present in the atom the two in outermost shell get excited and shift to the empty vacant orbitals here in this case as we have empty p orbital the electrons from the s orbital get shifted to p orbital and we have two unpaired electrons after the excitation of electrons from s orbital to p orbital in beryllium atom the thing is the electronic configuration of chlorine atom as you know chlorine atom atomic number is 17 the outer shell electronic configuration of chlorine is 3s2 3p5 here in chlorine atom one unpaired electron is present and chlorine require one electron to get stabilized in order to attain stability chlorine atom will form bond with beryllium atom here if you see beryllium atom undergo sp hybridization and it form two sp hybrid orbitals and two sp hybrid orbitals have unpaired electrons this each sp hybrid orbital of beryllium atom combines with uh, the p orbital of chlorine atom remember chlorine is having unpaired electron in p orbital and beryllium is having unpaired electrons in sp orbitals this sp and p orbital will form a bond the two sigma bond as we have discussed earlier always the hybrid orbitals will form sigma bond here Here in uh, BeCl2 molecule, two sigma SPP bonds are formed. As you know, SP is the hybridization present in beryllium and P is the pure orbital present in the chlorine atom. The bond is formed between the SP hybrid orbital and P orbital of beryllium and chlorine respectively. So we are going to get uh, two sigma SPP bonds in BeCl2. If you see the shape, shape of the BeCl2 molecule is linear and bond angle as you know if the shape is linear the bond angle present in that molecule will be 180 degrees and the type of sigma bond present in BeCl2 molecule is a sigma SPP bond. If you see the structure of BeCl2 in BeCl2 we have two sigma bonds formed between the beryllium and two chlorine atom the type of sigma bond is sigma spp bond and the bond angle in becl2 molecule is 180 degrees this is the structure of a becl2 molecule in which sp hybridization is present 